Hello. I'm Oriana from Zysel Networks. Welcome to another episode of our Tech Talk. In the last episode, we have talked about how to assess your network needs and choose the devices that fit the most. In this week, we'll continue to guide you on how to place your access point strategically, reaching stable wireless connection without interference. The way you place the APs greatly impacts their performance, as data is transmitted through wireless signals. By positioning them correctly, we can reduce interference from other factors, extend service range, and enhance transmission rate and stability. Considering that the signal pattern of an AP usually extends forward in an elliptical shape. For a given area, the ideal mounting location is the center of the ceiling, while facing down to the floor. This way, the signal reaches everywhere without obstruction. If ceiling mount isn't feasible, you may also place the AP directly on a table, while facing up to the ceiling. Due to signal reflection, most areas in the room can still receive the signal. However, since the AP is placed on the table, for areas where furniture or other objects locate between the AP and the client devices, the signal may be blocked and cause unstable connection. When dealing with multiple rooms, two principles can assist you in deciding where to place the AP. Firstly, ensure that the connecting devices are in line of sight to the AP. This guarantees signal transmission without interference or obstruction. Once the signal is obstructed, the signal strength will be attenuated, leading to unstable communication. For instance, in a shared office or an apartment, you may consider placing the AP in the corridor to provide signal coverage to multiple rooms instead of placing it in any one of the rooms. Another guideline is, you can start the placement task at places where users stay most of the time. This can guarantee the smooth Wi-Fi using experience for most users. For example, you can prioritize placing the AP in key areas like living room, study, and bedroom of your house. Comparing to evenly distributing the AP across the entire area, this not only makes the deployment task more easy and efficient, but also bring better using experience to general users. Lastly, we list down some deployment mistakes that usually made by people. First, let the AP lean on the wall vertically. Second, placing the AP close to electronic devices. Third, placing the AP inside metal cabinets. Fourth, placing the AP behind large furniture like sofas. For the first point, due to the radio pattern of the AP, when you place it vertically, you will find the signal is strong on the front side, while much weaker on the back side. With this deployment, you might suffer from throughput degradation when moving in the venue. It's because the client devices are out of the AP's coverage. Therefore, we recommended placing the AP horizontally to ensure its coverage to all directions instead of concentrating on one side. In general cases, the AP can provide strong signal within a radius of 15 meters. But if people try to hide the AP by placing it at places that mentioned above, these furniture and obstacles can significantly attenuate the signal. As the result, the coverage decreases, and users might suffer for unstable connection. After we place the AP in an ideal spot, we need to further verify our deployment. This allows you to assess the effectiveness of your deployment before any problem arises. The first method is running your commonly used applications to see if they function properly. This includes making video calls, playing games, and watching streaming videos. If you notice subpar performance in certain locations, consider place the AP in another location while ensuring it aligns with the guidelines we mentioned earlier. There are also other free tools which can precisely assist you in evaluating the connection quality. By using these tools, you can easily assess the signal strength of your configured Wi-Fi network. We recommend maintaining a signal strength of minus 68 dBm or above. If the number falls below this threshold, it suggests that the device is receiving a weak signal. You can then investigate if the AP is too distant from the client, or the signal is obstructed by objects within. Lastly, we can use the Ping tool on Windows or Android devices to test network stability. 
The response period, which less than 50 milliseconds indicates to good connection quality of your Wi-Fi network. If the period is consistently high or fluctuating, it indicates to the environment interference or the need for configuration adjustments. If you encountered unstable Wi-Fi connection, while finding the responding time is high, feel free to consult our community, where dedicated experts can help you to resolve the issues. Today, we have learned how to place the access point by following some guidelines and known some places that should be avoided to ensure stable connection. Besides, we also introduced some indicators and approaches to verify your deployment and ensure the robustness of your network. To sum up, placing your access point strategically is crucial to ensure optimal Wi-Fi coverage and performance. By considering these factors throughout the deployment task, you can ensure fast and stable connection to all Wi-Fi users. Well, that's it for today's Tech Talk. Hope this episode was able to give you some ideas and guides to place your AP and verify the signal quality. In the next episode, we will introduce some tips to optimize the software settings to make your Wi-Fi network more stable and secure. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next week. Have a nice day. We're Zysel, and we're your networking ally.